Welcome to the Black Dusk Legend Loud Guide. This is a duo guide, so you'll need at least two people. You should use a standard Juggernaut skill tree, which should look similar to this. I realize that most of you are at level 100, but try to take all the major perks I did. For loadouts, one player should bring an F57, a CHA, and 6 medkits, while the other should bring an F57, a thumper, 5 medkits, and a blowtorch. What armor you bring depends on how confident you are. In this run, we're using no armor because flex, but don't be ashamed to bring frontline or aegis if you need to. Anyway, as soon as the game starts, both of you should grab 3 C4s. Then, one of you needs to run to the blast door and start opening it. If you have the thumper, then you can shoot this door to save time, but if you're not confident about your aim, then feel free to shoot it later. Then, both players should hide behind these crates and cover one window each. Next, there's going to be several waves. The first is always one juggernaut on each side, and the others will be small squads of Halcyon operatives. Take out each wave with your F57, making sure to get as many headshots as possible to save ammo. After finishing each wave, reload and get ready for the next one. Repeat this process until the blast door is open. Once the blast door is open, finish off the current wave and then get out as quickly as possible. Whoever has the thumper should blow up this door and then use the blowtorch to break the metal bars. Meanwhile, the other players should cover this entrance with their F57 to make sure their teammate doesn't get oofed while they're cutting the bars. Once the bars are open, you should finish off the current wave if there is one and then rush to the operations area. The player with the thumper should open the door to this room and plant both C4s while their teammate covers them. Make sure there's a 2x3 space open in your inventory and then head to the basement to get thermite. There's three different spots in the basement and at least one is guaranteed. Meanwhile, the other players should cover the entrance and take out any Halcyon operatives that try entering the basement. Once everything is clear, both players should exit the basement, go back to the room with the broken bars, and climb up this pipe to the top floor. One player should blowtorch the bars while the other covers the entrance to the vents. Once you reach this area, one player should blow towards the vent while the other covers the entrance to the vent just in case any operatives arrive. Then you should get down, plant the thermite, and camp in this room. There's actually a chance that an operative will jump down the vent, so at least one of you should keep an eye on it. If you have the CHA and Sniper Mastery, then you should be able to snipe enemies from here. If you miss any of them, then the player without the CHA should be able to camp the main entrance to this room.
Once the thermite is done, you should both go down and plant the bombs. Although this didn't happen in this run, there's a decent chance that a wave will spawn in the entrance right next to the vault, so keep an eye on it as you're escaping. While you're running, you shouldn't let your guard down. This run was somewhat lucky, but you could get ambushed at any time, so always stick close to walls and corners and be prepared to take cover if any enemies arrive. Once you get here, the player with the thumper should open this door if they haven't already. Then, you should both go inside. One of you should blowtorch the vent, while the other covers the entrance. When the vent is open, you should both go down, and the player with the thumper should breach the door into the server room. Then, you should plant the two bombs inside. There's always a wave that arrives at this point, so make sure to take them out before escaping. Next, you should exit the development area. One player should head back to the elevator and grab the two remaining bombs, while the other should cover them from the top floor. Then, the player with the bombs should go up the stairs and plant the remaining spots, and both players should take out any waves that appear. Next, the player without the CHA should rush the elevator, activate the objective, and run back to the vent entrance. Normally, the operatives will open the control room before this point, but that didn't happen in this run. In this case, the other player should camp in this spot and watch out for whenever the control room is opened. The player in the vent should shoot the Onyx unit as much as they can, while the other should cover the spawns to the left and right, as well as the back entrance to the control room. One of these spawns is right next to the vent, so both players should be on high alert at all times in case a wave spawns there. And that's the end of the mission. So long as you have good teamwork, the mission shouldn't be that hard. Also, one final tip, if you ever run out of F57 ammo, then you can always do this with one of the saw blades found around the map. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Unof man out.